Hey guys, this is Issues with Taddy One Skip. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whether we're having breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whether we're going to bed or waking up. Thank you so much for making me part of your day. I know the importance of time and I appreciate it. Guys, there's a couple videos I want to call out on Gypsy Rose. One of them is just blatantly, to me, it's broken hearted because it has to do with that dog that they got. A dog that Ryan got for Gypsy because Gypsy wanted something at home to keep her company while Ryan went to work. You got the stuff for the puppy? I do. We're starting to settle into our everyday life, but I'm when he's at work, I'm by myself at the apartment. Oh, she's so little. I think it was just time to have an addition to our family, and I think maybe um, a baby is a little too soon, so I'm like, let's start slow with a fur baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie. Pixie was the name of a bunny rabbit that I had when I was really little. My bunny ran away, never seen her again. So the name just kind of stuck with me. Hi. Hi. Yeah. She's only been home for like an hour and I absolutely love her. So clearly guys, when she says that she absolutely loves the dog, it's the gypsy love. So it's the love that's really, really passionate, strong, and something she can't live without until she can totally live without it. But that doesn't seem to matter when she wants something else. When the other shiny thing is there, that dog doesn't matter. That's who Gypsy Rose is. It doesn't have to be the dog. The dog is just another casualty. I've never had a puppy before, so I really am not familiar with all the little signs. This is new for me. So Gypsy says, this is new for me. Ryan, Ryan got on TikTok and uh, had just put up his second post and, and was thanking people. Now, Ryan might be very well putting himself out there. It looks like he's lost some weight. He's got a goatee going. Some people are saying he looks really handsome. I'm a gay woman. I don't think he's an unattractive man. He's on the heavy set side, but he's not unattractive. And a lot of people don't mind that people tend to you know as we get older i think we start finding what's good in in what's inside and i don't think ryan's gonna have a hard time once he gets over gypsy and should he trust again he's gonna have trust issues <laughs> but ryan you know i know that his head was saying something totally different than his heart and what Ryan, I think, needs to do is stop with the heart and start with the head. Listen with your head. So apparently, Gypsy got on saying, she got on Ryan's, in Ryan's comments and said, you've been trying to give the dog away. I've got receipts. And Ryan, you know, that's Pixie. That's the dog that Gypsy wanted because she didn't want to be home alone while Ryan was working. Ryan's still working. He's got a puppy at home. Nobody else, because nobody else lives in the house. So Ryan is thinking of rehoming the dog because he can't be there. He didn't get the dog as a single dad for the dog. He could have always had a dog. He was a single guy for a, a while here. So he very well could have gotten a dog. He got the dog for Gypsy. And Gypsy, who says... Oh, I love the dog so much. I'm going to show you a video of how much she loves the dog and then how easy it was for her to give the dog away. That's Gypsy Rose. She is going to be one of those things that, you know, where you Gypsy Rose it, you know. Yeah, I got a dog. Don't you Gypsy Rose that dog. Don't leave that dog behind. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. In the meantime, for some reason... Ken Urker thinks she's attractive and smart and everything else and that you could really give your heart to that person because you're so special and Ken's going to be moving. Ken, I don't think people really care for Ken because Gypsy's still married. Ken had no respect for that. So uh, Gypsy didn't have any respect either, but Ken could have said, hey, just divorce the guy if that's what you want to do and then we'll start because I guarantee you, Ken, you wouldn't like it if somebody did that to you. But it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Because Gypsy, she doesn't know how to be faithful. You think that you're something special? 
You think you're more special than her mother? Think about that, Ken. So guys, let's look at this video and let's talk about it a little bit, all right? Hey guys, it's Ryan. Just wanted to say hey. Uh, doing a video, my second video from home. Just hanging out, me and Pixie, enjoying the day. Um, I've grown this out, if you can see. It's really dark. I didn't think I could ever grow one out like that, but it looks good. Uh, but anyway, um, just thank y'all. I really appreciate it. I've got a lot of sweet messages from a lot of people. I wish I could write all of y'all and say thanks. Uh, it means a great deal to me. Um, everybody wants me to tell my side and that's all I can say right now. Uh, Dang, a lot's happened. A lot has happened. Um, just hanging in there, guys. Thanks. So, as you guys can see in the video, the guy is brokenhearted. He's keeping his word by keeping stump because he signed an NDA. But, of course, he put out that video about him and the dog, and Gypsy jumped into his comments. Why? She's got a restraining order against him. So why is she jumping in his comments and stirring shit? Because she's a, st a shit stir, and I told you that already, guys. So this guy feels like he can't give a home to this dog, so he wants to rehome the dog, and she's trying to shame him because he's trying to do something right. Gypsy, that was your dog. You left that dog behind like you leave everything that you don't want behind. It's a good thing that that dog's A-L-I-V-E. The best thing that could happen to you, Gypsy is that somebody permanently breaks that heart of yours. What heart of yours? Your destruction all the way. I, I want to know what person, one person from your past that could say something nice about you, Gypsy Rose. One person from your past that could say something nice about you. I'd love to hear that. I think we'd all love to hear somebody say something nice about you because your actions, again, are so friggin' loud and you want to know why people don't care for you. There isn't one thing you've committed to that you followed through with. I haven't seen it. And trust me, lately I've been following what you're doing. Your mom's birthday passed, didn't say a word. Celebrated, celebrated unaliving her. So good. Ryan. Again, you dodged a bullet, man. You're good. You're good. And I hope you find a wonderful home for Pixie because you're right. That's too much time for a dog to be sitting by themselves unless you want to get a companion for the dog. I get it, man. I get it. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. This is just unbelievable. The gall she had to get and criticize Ryan. Ryan... All he has to do is keep quiet because it's you, Gypsy, that is showing the world what a winner you are. And I say that with such sarcasm because you're not a winner. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you don't like me, you can unsubscribe. We're not a cult, and we don't make you stay. Thanks, guys. And don't forget, guys, be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Never, ever, ever be Gypsy Rose Blanchard or any of the Blanchards. Always be kind. Always be yourself. Thank you, guys. First, here's a little backstory on Ryan and Gypsy's puppy, 